What's up, everybody? I am Ghostboy Colby, and we're back here in Rapture. Um, let's see. There is a splicer down here. I don't know which way sh they went. She. Let's see. There we go. Uh -huh. Um, I think our goal now is to find where Atlas needs us to go. Uh, that's pretty much- Although I guess in a simple sense you could say that's the goal throughout the entire game. Uh, I need to find a gene bank. There are these machines on the wall that let you switch out your plasmids and tonics, but I don't know where one is. Uh, I can check the map. I don't see one. Um, yeah, I don't see any. Oh, our, well, it said on there that our goal is to open the emergency access. And for some reason, this is still giving me some playback issues. I don't know why. You're ready now. Time to take on one of them I changed guys. the settings back, easy. but the only way to get to it didn't center. seem to do I anything. Oh, looks like we're going to be taking down our first big daddy. There is another little sister ahead. To get the atom from her, you must deal with her big daddy first. Um... All your faces are melted! See, I don't, I don't know if I want to take them on with just what I have. I want to... I like to be prepared before I take on big daddies. Because they're pretty difficult to fight. So, I, okay, I got, oh, armor piercing rounds, I forgot about those, yeah, I should probably use those. Those will make the fight a little bit, I wouldn't say easier, but I guess that's the closest word to it. I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and start. Ah, uh, see, that's, uh. They can instantly just charge right at you in a split second. That's part of what makes them so hard to fight. And then whenever they roar, yeah, when they do the roar, they, uh... Jesus. When they do the roar, they slow you down. close to death. I know I wasn't. See, they're too... Mm. I hate to say this, but if they can do that much damage to your health bar this early on in the game, they're overpowered. That's ridiculous. I don't even know where the hell I am. Well, I know where I am, but I, I can't think of where it is in relation to where I just came from. I need to get, uh, where did it send me? I need to get back to that big daddy. Okay. Uh, that, that was ridiculous. For him to be able to just tear through me like that, that's too much. Okay, should be through here. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're good. Are you almost back to Merdy access? Come through as soon as you get there. You're Hold on. Now. You won't hear them coming, but it'll be there before you know it. Jesus Christ. No. They're too strong. At least that one was. I was about where I am right now in terms of health, unless I just wasn't watching or something. And he just demolished me in like one hit. Their charges are overpowered when they ram into you. That's just retarded. I'm sorry. 
I hate bitching about the strength of enemies in video games, but sometimes they're just overpowered, and that was that case. Yes, it was, you know, I beat them, but with all the first aid kits that I had, like, I figured I was good. May okay, I will admit, I wasn't watching my health gauge that closely, so I'll admit. If I go back and see that my health was just lower than I thought, then I'll admit it, but... <sighs> that was frustrating, is all I know. I just... With them having that... Uh, roar that slows you down whenever they do it, and then that ram, that's an OP combination. I just don't see the need. Like, either do one or the other, not both. Because individually, those are really powerful potential moves. I think this should take us to Neptune's Bounty, by the way. That's where Atlas wanted us to go before, because he, he's, he's telling us that he needs us to save his wife and child. And we're trusting him, and just going where he's telling us. If your plasmids are losing effectiveness against tougher enemies, find the improved versions of those plasmids. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. Uh, there will be upgraded versions of the same plasmids that we have. So like, Electrobolt 2, or Incinerate 2, so like, Telekinesis 2. I think they go all the way up to 3 to, uh, for each individual plasmid. I'm not sure all of them have upgraded versions. I want to say they do, but I'm not sure. Now you have the pleasure of Andrew Ryan's company. He's the one built this place, and he's the one who ran it into the ground. Nobody knows exactly Oof. what happened. It's pretty metal. It Maybe the power got to him. Maybe he just decided he didn't like people. Whichever way you slice it, good man died. My family's in a submarine hidden in the foundation of Fontaine Fisheries. I'll meet you there. Oops. That was the wrong pipe. Um, here we go. And then this one here. And unlike the battles in Final Fantasy, I actually won't be able to speed up the video or the game in game while I'm doing these hacks. So I wouldn't want to anyways though, because that would risk me failing them. And I don't like failing them because it makes me waste more time retrying them. Welcome to the circuit of value. I want a couple of those. Some of these. And then we should be good. I'm not buying the rest just because they're too expensive. Uh, I want incinerate. I don't know if I need it. What I can do is switch it out here, go back there, and go into that door that I couldn't open before. I think that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I know it's gonna take a little bit more time, oh well. I'm just going back to the medical pavilion real quick because I know there was a door I couldn't get through because it was frozen over. So yeah, that's what we're doing real quick. my mic's volume down a little bit so that you could hear the game a little better it's gonna be a trial and error pr process to find the perfect mix between game audio or you know game volume and my volume but I'm gonna try my best because I want you guys to be able to hear me 
Uh, and I don't remember which way to go. I think it's this way. Yes. Yes, it is. I'm looking at my TV screen just so I don't risk uh, playing less, I don't want to say efficiently, because that sounds like a douchey word. But, uh, oh, there's another big daddy. Even though we got both the little sisters. We could try and kill him. I'm not going to mess with him because there's literally no need to. There'll be no point since uh, he doesn't have a little sister with him. And I think we'll lose more than we'll gain. Just because he's so strong. I think I was saying something before I was talking about the big daddy. But I don't remember what it was. My bad. Oh, I remember this part. There are some turrets that we'll need to watch out for. Let's see, we can zap her and whack her. There we go. Aha. And I know I said the thing about, uh... Oh, or... Oh, Four, five, one. That's the code to the door, and it's actually a reference to the book Fahrenheit 451. Uh, but I know I said the thing about I was gonna try and zap them and whack them as often as possible just to try and save ammo, and then I didn't. <laughs> but I forget these things. I didn't set it as like a goal that I would stick to through the entire game, but. I still wanted to acknowledge that I know I didn't exactly do it as much as I led you all to believe I would. And this actually isn't the area that I thought I wa it was. Because I thought maybe it's in a different area or maybe I'm thinking of the second game. I hear that camera so I know that's going to be nearby. Oh, it must be through there. Uh, before that, I'm gonna look around and get everything in here. I could have done this before I left and just saved a little bit of time, but I didn't even see this door at first. Or maybe I just didn't remember it. Oh well, we're doing it now. And I think I can do this. Shock whoever's in the water. Apparently that didn't work, because somebody's still there. Where are you? I don't want to fight you in the water, because I don't want to shock myself. Whoa. Who was that? We got a security expert. Okay, a new offering in the Hack Smart line. Security expert was designed for the hackers specializing in disabling electronic security measures you won't be secure without security expert reduces the difficulty okay that's pretty useful i think there's a like a improved version of that that will actually give us more of a benefit i don't know where to find it so i'll be on the lookout for it but i'm no completionist when it comes to this stuff i still don't see the Camera. Ah! They got me. Um. Maybe it's a camera we've already hacked that I'm hearing, because I didn't. You know, I can't go through there, so I don't know what's going on. It must be just on the other side of that door. And that's why I can hear it from here. I don't know how to open the door, though. Can I just not? If I can, I don't know how. Oh well. I'm not gonna worry about it.
I guess the only drawback of zapping them and whacking them is that it takes more Eve, but I don't know. I mean, I might as well put that Eve link to use. Okay, I think that's everything. Unless I'm missing something through that door. Am I? Oh, there's the gatherer's garden. Okay, so we can get... Ooh, we can get enrage if we want to. It basically hypnotizes whoever we throw it at into attacking anybody. So like whoever the nearest person is. If we throw it at somebody and there's nobody else around for them to hit, then they still attack us anyways. That's why I'm not big on it. It doesn't necessarily make them your buddy under all conditions. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really feeling it. I think I'd rather get a health upgrade. But let me know if I made the wrong choice and if you'd rather see me have uh, enrage. I don't know. I personally, I'm not feeling it, but it just gives you this little red ball that you throw at them and it bursts and the red fluid inside just hypnotizes them, brainwashes them into fighting. Not necessarily fighting for you, but just fighting whoever is closest. And if that happens to be you, then they're gonna fight you. It's very situational. It can be useful if you're fighting a big crowd of people, but then you have to back up to stay away from whoever it is you threw the enrage ball at. Otherwise, they're just gonna keep attacking you. They might hit some other people, but if you're close enough, they're gonna go after you too. I've never been super huge on the Enrage Plasmid. I think there's a better one in Bioshock 2. And we're gonna come up on a better one later on anyways. At least I think it's better, I don't know. Okay, now we're back here. Um, it already, yeah, I already went here. I'm not gonna spend any more money. I think I'm gonna keep Electro Bolt and Incinerate. Uh, and I don't have any other. Huh. I thought there were four kinds of tonics. I guess there's just three physical, engineering, and combat. Maybe by four, I was thinking of the plasmids. But uh, I could have sworn there were four types. I don't know. I think that's the spider splicer from the beginning of the game. I know I just spoiled it. That's what they're called, spider splicers. They crawl on the walls, they've got these hooks that they throw at you. I don't know if they're necessarily, if their hands are hooks or if they just hold the hooks, but either way. This part's actually pretty creepy. If you're, you know, if you've never seen it before. Let's see, let's go up through here. Get this vertical pipe connected in the middle between the two combusting pipes. I don't know. And then get some horizontal pipes to connect us all the way to the end. There we go. There's another Big Daddy. Uh, that's a different model of Big Daddy. Instead of the bouncer that has the drill for the hand and is more uh, just thick, this guy is the Rosie because he has a rivet gun. And he's more of a uh, more of a utility Big Daddy. Yes, they still have the function of 
protecting little sisters, but they're mostly used for repairing loose bolts and whatnot. Uh oh. There we go. Alright, uh, those little squiggly pipes right there slow the flow of the liquid down. And then there's another pipe that speeds it up. You typically want to avoid the one that speeds it up unless you're just in a rush, but in that case, wouldn't you just press Y? <laughs> so, uh, for example, if I put it here and then use these other horizontal pipes to connect all the way to the end, once it gets to that little squiggly one, the flow will slow down. And so if I was really worried about not having enough time to complete this and I just wanted to buy more time, this squiggly pipe right here, the resistor, would do that. Resistors will cause the flow to slow down, buying you precious seconds to complete the hack. Use these instead of straight uh, tiles if you have the chance. So yeah, it told you basically what I just told you. It's not a whole lot slower, but it does make a difference. And so, as you can see, it's getting back to the straight tile, and now it's flowing just a little bit faster. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe a third of the time faster. That's my estimation. And then there's another turret over there, but I don't think it can really hit me from back here, so I'm not too worried about it. I'll try and get over there and hack it. But I'm not in any particular hurry. I know I say, like, particularly and necessarily a lot. Uh, if I ever repeat the same word like that in the same sentence, uh, cut me some slack, basically, is what I'm gonna say. Another hack. Okay, so these right here, alarm pipes, are the ones I was telling you about before, where if liquid goes into them, we're gonna trigger an alarm, and security bots will come after us, so we don't want to, you know, we want to avoid those. The ones that speed up the flow, the ones that will combust, uh, what's it called? Overload. Overloads will cause a short sh circuit that delivers a massive damaging shock. So it's not necessarily an explosion, but serves the same purpose of dealing us a lot of damage. We want to avoid these if possible, and we can use those. Those will probably be more useful in the higher difficulty hacks, but for right now, we don't really need them. The good thing, though, is that uh, technology like bots and turrets that are on our side can tell whenever the other ones have been hacked and they immediately stop shooting at them. Well, the kind of immediately. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> thing, so only Ryan I don't think that's supposed to happen. I can't pick system. up that first aid Cousins. kit because I already have nine. Um, I'm just seeing what's going on around here. Thus saith the Lord. That's right. I'm taking you on with the pipe. Ah! Idiot! He just blew himself up. I think he blew himself up into the underground because I can't get his body. Well. At least I won, I guess. I'm not even sure I'm supposed to go this way. Maybe I am. I guess I am. The arrow's pointing this way, so... I hear... a... camera. 
but I don't see it. Oh my god. That is a rocket launcher. Why do I have to load everything? That's right. Okay, now get up there and hack it. All right. That was a little tense. Just because I had so many people shooting at me while I was trying to get to the rocket launcher to hack it. And uh, I don't think I'm really in danger of losing this hack. I don't want to jinx myself, but I'm just saying I think we're good. But there are no more horizontal pipes to use, so I'm gonna use the resistor to finish. And now the rocket launcher is on our side and won't kill us. Hopefully. Yes, sir. Get up. That's what I'm talking about. Oh no. I actually want that. I want that little sister. Oh no. Wait, who did that? What? His light shines down here in the park. Dude, I need more Eve. Let's go, let's go. Come on, give me horizontal or uh, vertical ones. What in the hell? Uh, 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 uh. God! <laughs> Sorry, I'm stressed. Uh, 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 come on. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. Why does this have to be this? Alright, alright. I got it. I got it. Ah, oh, That sucked. And then, uh, get this one. Here we go. That sucked. There were, like, no vertical ones. There were two vertical ones. And all of these overloads. Wow. That was terrible. Hail Mary, full of grace. Welcome to the surges of value. Shut up or I'll pop you in the face. Okay, I have ammo. It's just... I know that... Wait, the electric bucks might be the way to go. I really want to get that little sister, but I just don't know if I'm ready to face. You know what? I wasn't even that close to you! Okay, he throws mines, so we gotta watch out for those. sure we're gonna come out of that with the game wow that sucked I wasn't uh, entirely aware that he could trigger his own minds but I guess you can lead him to them and he'll blow up unless I triggered it and I just didn't remember 
Are you really a friend? Well, regardless, a little one brings you a gift. Jeez. Maybe I shouldn't have taken that guy on. Or maybe I, uh... I might have done that. God! Ooh, I just got 200 Adam. And Hypnotize Big Daddy. Okay, so... In... Bioshock 2, I believe, Enrage and Hypnotize Big Daddy are pretty much put into the same plasmid instead of being two separate ones it's just called hypnotize so you can throw it at anybody whether it's a big daddy or a splicer i think this is the way it is i don't remember for sure if i'm wrong correct me let me know but i'm pretty sure i remember it being that way and uh it's this uh green ball instead of a red one that you throw and yeah now with this we can get a plasmid slot and we can actually oh i don't know if i want to use telekinesis or hypnotize big daddy but i think telekinesis and then uh, we could get another plasmid slot, but I might wait until later. Um, because I have some DLC, I have some other... Uh, with Bioshock the Collection at least. If you have Bioshock the Collection, you're gonna have these two. They're DLC plasmids, and this one is Sonic Boom, this one's Target Dummy. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a DLC one, but I think it is. Then there are some Tonics. Um, I don't think I can get a tonic slot. If I could, I would probably get one. Uh, I'm not interested in getting Machine Buster because I don't normally like to destroy machines. I'd rather hack them. Uh, there's Wrench Jockey, which makes us a little more powerful with Wrench. But I don't know which one I'll have to... Ooh, reduces flow speed when hacking. That indirectly lowers the difficulty, so... I'm definitely getting that, I'm just saying. There's Winter Blast. Um, that one could be useful. I don't necessarily want to get it. I think I'm fine with the ones I have. Target Dummy can be useful too. Uh, exactly like it says, it uh, creates a decoy that draws attacks away from you. So everyone thinks that the dummy is you. Uh, it's just this... I, I don't know exactly how to describe it. Uh-oh. I didn't mean to do that. Well, now I guess I do have another slot. Well. Um... Extra nutrition. You gain a little extra health from snacks and bandages. I'm good. I don't know if I'll get any of the rest of these. I might get Sonic Boom. Let's see the preview first. Knock foes back with hurricane force. Laugh as they bounce off the wall. That's pretty much what it does. Um, I don't think it's quite as strong as the other ones. My cat's being a crackhead. And I think lastly, I'm gonna get Winter Blast. I probably should have saved that, uh... Probably should have saved some of that Adam for later. There's the little sister calling it to the vent. That's basically what connects this route that lets all the little sisters meet up in this safe house that Dr. Tenenbaum has built. I'm not exactly sure how much time I have left, but I think I might be a little over time, so... I'm going to stop here and uh, say, let's see, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what to say. This episode hasn't gone as well as the other ones have so far. Sorry about that. I'm trying, but <laughs> the game's getting a little harder as we're going on. That's just, that's natural. That's just how it goes. Uh, if this is over time, I apologize. It just means you're going to have to wait a little bit longer for the upload. Uh, sorry about that. 
but I don't, I don't have a timer set or anything. If I did, I'd be able to keep them a bit more consistent in terms of length. That's part of the reason that the Skyrim episode was so long, is I didn't know how long I'd been recording. And I tried to trim it down as much as I could, but it still ended up being really long. I don't know if this will be as long as that, but we'll see. If it is, then I'll just deal with it and try to make the next one shorter. Um, I've got Rainbow Six Siege installed, so be on the lookout for when I do make that video. It should be pretty soon. Um, I forgot to tell Caleb that I was done making my next Final Fantasy episode. And so if I had told him that, we probably around this time would have been making the Rainbow Six Siege episode. Um, but expect it soon is all I'm gonna say. And until then, peace.